<laughs> Imagine that this pot of ramen was a video game. And I review this pot of ramen and I say, you know what? This ramen could use some salt or some pepper. And the game developers are like, okay, we'll give you salt and pepper. Absolutely free. You know why? Because us as game developers really care about how you feel about our game that we made for you. And we understand that you're a consumer. And we understand that you gave us your money for something that we created for you. Because we love you. And you're a consumer. And without you, we wouldn't exist. So because we love you and we appreciate you, we gave you something that you wanted for free. Because you already spent $60 for this pot of ramen. Yeah. That salt and pepper really made this ramen a lot better. Now, imagine if I said that this pot of ramen could use some salt and pepper. And the game company says, five dollars. Five dollars. You could buy both of these for ten. And maybe Maybe we'll give you something you don't want for free. Garlic. And guess what? You still want the salt and pepper? Still gonna have to pay real money for it. But don't worry. Something you didn't ask for? Absolutely free. <laughs> And then the consumer goes, hey, they put garlic. Ah! Oh, God, it's horrible. This is not right. This isn't something we wanted. The thing we want is right here. This is what we want, but... Why can't we just have it? Something so small. In order to get it, we have to give them money for something so little. That should have been in the game. If you really care about your game franchise, don't spend ten dollars for salt and pepper. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. <laughs>